It is time for our second series of the day, sticking in the winner's bracket semifinals and Get Good EU Limited, brought to you by ExpressVPN. My name's Bull Skunk alongside Shy Guy. Uh, well, we had we had a heck of a match to start things off. I'm looking for more fun action as we head into our second series of the day. Yeah, it's time to, to move on into the advanced division. We earlier saw Antares take down Untitled 3-0 to move on into the rookie division grand finals. But now it's time for PE Step Up and Olive Oil to show us what they got here today as they vie for the opportunity to, to move into that upper or uh, that grand final for the advanced division. Let's take a quick look at how these two teams actually made it to this upper bracket final. PE Step Up, the dominant all the way through two 3 0 victories to get to this point. Olive Oil on the other side have gone through two map fives to get through this point. So PE Step Up have played six maps to get here. Olive Oil have played 10. So it, it, Olive Oil will be looking to take the, the first map off a of Step Up, at least since we've gone into our double elimination bracket. We are now in top four here in the advanced division. This is 3,500 to 3,899SR. All these players, oh, there's there's a, a little bit of leeway in the rules, but all these players, essentially masters players. Mm -hmm. uh, as we take a look at our, our starring lineup from the day, let's let's see who the stars are of the show that are going to be taken to the battlefield. It's going to be P step up with Blue Dog and Hater coming in in the DPS role, Deep Plasma and Blue Cow. A lot of blue animals on this roster. I like it. I like it. Oh, the, the Blue Cow D-Plasma, your, your front line with Faraday and Renegade keeping the team alive and well. Indeed, and then over on the, the side of Olive Oil, we have Kel and Off Meta Slave coming in on the DPS. Very excited to see what, what Off Meta Slave is going to be bringing to the table when it comes to those DPS picks for sure. And then Nova and Shadowed going to be coming in for the, the take lineup. And then Fium and Fibo to round out the, the lineup for Olive Oil at the support duo so uh yeah those will be our lineups for today and i'm uh, i'm very excited to get on into to the action to today once again it looks like we will be starting off our series on lijong tower this time around and you know it always uh, in my mind the best like the most classic control map that that we've got in the game absolutely you know I and mean, then Nobody can really argue with Li Zhang Tower. This is going to be a first to three series with loser pick from here on out. And speaking of picks, we want to know your thoughts in chat. You have the option to put your money where your mouth is. Who's going to take it? Number five seed PE step up who are so far undefeated in our double elimination bracket or are the, the map five warriors and olive oil going to take it? Y'all let us know. Y'all put your bets in now as we're going uh, to get ready. We're getting set up, get our teams going to start off our winner's bracket semifinals. Yeah, this this should be uh, a fantastic showing between both these teams. We've got kind of the unstoppable force meets the, the immovable object. Is it going to be another 3-0 for P? Step up another map five for Olive Oil. One of those trends has to give here today. So I'm, I'm very excited to see uh, which of them will, will actually break at the, the end when the dust settles what is uh, going to, to be the case here with olive oils uh three two victories back to back uh i'm inclined to think that they're good at control i'm, I'm inclined to think that they're a, a control oriented team they they're the sheets that we are given show us a lot of off meta picks honestly it's not just off meta slave uh but down the board i mean we're looking at some perhaps double main tank uh may get some diva ball uh, I would anticipate to get some wrecking ball certainly here on gardens. Yeah, certainly. And uh, yeah, this is uh, again, a, a great starting point for uh, both these teams. You've got a lot of different options on this point. I've seen teams run the, the brawl here uh, a lot of the times, but you can really get away with some of those more mobile comps. And we see deep plasma already on the, the wrecking ball. And as you mentioned, the possibility of a double main tank lineup here for all of all. This is very fascinating. Uh, we'll see what Pounder and Shadow might be able to, to get done here. I like rolling out with the, the Symmetra to get this kind of more static composition 
on the point very quickly. It's going to be key for Olive Oil. They need to get their feet planted, get rooted. They've also got Fibo on the Lucio to help make that happen even quicker. And they do teleport right through the window, but they're going to contend with Blue Dog on the far, trying to pull rockets in from the outside, through the windows, through these little openings, and into the bulk of Olive Oil. As uh, you can just see by the numbers in the top left corner, Blue Dog is already putting in a heap of damage. 68% towards that first barrage, and we're just 30 seconds into the mash. But Speedball fighting first blood, sending Blue Cow into the depth below, and then falls it up with a kill onto Blue Dog. Both blue animals down, courtesy of Fibo's Lucio. Yeah, fantastic stuff there. Being able to weather the storm for Olive Oil. They were eating a ton of damage early on in that fight from Blue Dog and Hater in particular. But the, the heal is coming out from Fume and Fibo doing a great job keeping everybody safe for the, the time being. Already that Amp Matrix is going to be online here to potentially pair with the Deadeye if they can find the, the right opportunity. Dead Eye Matrix indeed coming out very early. Uh, looks like Step Up able to just LOS both of those ultimates and kind of work their way around. Highly mobile cop. They're going to move around, drop the barrage, and find a pair of Immortality Field a touch late from Fiyu. And it's going to spell disasters. Olive Oil are going to lose control at this point, but not before picking up about half away of what they need to, to complete the map. Certainly now my, my question is going to be, do they continue to, to stick with the comfort they've got? I don't think the tanks will change because they're both very close to, the, to those first ultimates, but is Newt Newt still going to be running the Symmetra? Indeed, they will swap off. Uh, it was briefly a jump crap, but the Torbjorn pick is really fascinating here. Uh, doesn't want to go for the junk grab, probably for fear of you know the the far up in the sky. That's a very difficult matchup to, to deal with. So gonna be going for a, definitely an orthodox pick, especially trying to retake with uh, with the Torbjorn. It is an interesting pick. If they're gonna just pop that amp speed, run it, throw down the supercharger, and immediately find the kill on the blue cow, or at least the D max. Sound barrier comes through from Renegade. But the Shatter is in, finding a pair, and Hater falls on the back line. Blue Dog throwing down the barrage, trying to keep him at bay, but nice shot from Newt Newt to shut that down. And now it's just a bit of a spin to win with a self-destruct. Nice self-destruct, as a matter of fact. Gonna pick up a pair, and the Rez are gonna put Step Up back in the driver's seat in this fight. They just uh, fall on uh, to a Pounder, collapsing onto the Reinhardt, who then collapses into a heap. Yeah, and you're seeing exactly where this comp for P step up kind of thrives. It's when things get really chaotic, when you can have Faraday flying all over the place, finding opportunities to get cheeky reses off, and everybody just co um, capitalizing on the, the chaos that they've been able to create. Looking around through White Room, Olive Oil just taking another measured approach, but just eating too much damage along the way, losing a pair immediately. Thoughtboy does throw out the dead eye, uh, but the mines are in response. Immortality Field's gone, and Powder has found themselves in a very awkward position. Gonna indeed fall, and Step Up will maintain control. 95% on the board. Olive Oil are gonna struggle to get back in touch. Feebo's gonna get knocked back, not be able to make it to the point. And Step Up open up strong, taking gardens. Indeed, and now the, the question becomes, what map do we get next? If it's Control Center, the, the, the strategy is going to have to change pretty dramatically here for Step Up. Indeed, it will be. So I can't imagine the, the Wrecking Ball console, though. You know, it's possible. Uh, you can kind of get away with it, but it's definitely much more difficult here on Control Center where, you know, things like that, that close quarters comp coming out from Olive Oil will thrive a little bit more. and. Both teams actually flashing the Arissa as the, the second tank in this lineup. Not something that we you know tend to expect, but definitely uh, will give you a lot of staying power, especially after she recently got that that nerf. No longer takes headshot damage, when, or that buff no longer takes headshot damage when she's in Fortify. This Symmetra is going to allow Step Up to, to get into position a little bit quicker, and they throw mines down that stairwell and able to find the first kill. And then they just move on to the objective and are slowly but surely bulldozing their way all the way back to the doors, trying to find some exit picks, but they don't overstay their welcome. 
And last time it was it was all well using this metro to get in quickly. This time it's step up. They get the, the first cap off the back of that, but now the the fight will really kick off in earnest. And more tally field used early, which could be dangerous to the blue dog has about got that tire on a line. I don't see anything to protect against it. But we'll place tire in this fight immediately. Amplification matrix out from step up, just keeping white room under their control. And it forced olive oil back into a corner a little bit. Up to the top goes blue dog. Down comes the tire. Rain and death from a ball finds three. And indeed, it spells doom for olive oil. And as you said, without the, the Immortality Field cooldown online, there, there's literally just nothing to be done there. It comes in too quickly. Unless you're able to, to really get lucky with something like a Fire Strike, it's going to be very tough to withstand that. And the, the placement there, absolutely perfect from Blue Dog. So now the, the response is ready to come in here from Olive Oil. Uh, these plasma are hit by the Shatter, but there's a... Photon barrier and a race to shield, not much getting through. The tire coming through from Newt. Newt is gonna find one. Uh, and, ooh, and Deep Plasma, what are you doing over there? Got way ahead of the pack. Uh, looked like a halt kept him in, and then they got Flashbang deleted. Running into double damage though, Olive Oil haven't captured this point just yet. They're not out of hot water. And the Renegade is just doing a nice bit of Leapfrog, trying to keep that Arisa alive. Now uses the Immortality Field to do so, and it's given time for Deep Plasma to return to this fight. Unfortunately, they have lost their Lucio, so Step Up is just going to try to hold their ground for as long as possible. Gets close to 99 as they can, and even find a few picks! Thick bot, thought bot, thought boy, oh, I'll get that one right eventually, is able to pick up one, but Ball of Oil loses their Baptiste and Fium, and now it's looking desperate indeed. 95% on the board. Shy Guy, can anybody make it back to touch? It will happen there. The Lucio makes it, and there comes the Rip Tire to, to kind of shut down the push, though. Everybody just getting melted as they stream onto the point, and that will be it. PE setup. They dominate Control Center, and Lijiang Tower goes their way. I mean, you, you, you called it. This is a, a team that looks very, very strong on this control map. Uh, I mean, that was 100 to 0. I mean, as, as dominant as it gets. Uh, and even when playing Olive Oil's game, you, you know, like they, they went and matched the the atypical double main tank composition of the Blue Dog, fantastic tire, very well timed, good job of, of knowing the cooldowns were out, had the opening, uh, and that's honestly one of the detriments of not having a Zarya with with both teams running mm -hmm. a junk rat. The Zarya has a little bit more freedom. So to, to put the bubbles where they like, when they like, and protect against things like a junk rat tire. Hey. As it stands, you know, Blue Dog's able to take full advantage and claim victory here on our opening map. But it does mean Olive Oil get our next map pick, Shy Guy. Indeed it does, and they will be taking us to Rialto, which, uh, you know, is, is definitely um, going to, I think, kind of continue to, to play uh, into what we, we saw from both these teams on that first map, there is definitely the, the possibility that we, we get to see some of those Wrecking Ball comps come back into to play uh, from P Step Up and Olive Oil for their part. I mean, I, I think they're going to, to continue to stick with the these kind of Ryan, maybe the Ryan Arisa comps, maybe they'll, they'll change some things up in, in regards to the, the tank line, go for something a little bit more mobile to, to take advantage of some of the high grounds here. But uh, we'll, we'll just have to see what those choices are going to, to be once we get in there. All of will need to, to find a response here. I mean, they, they have been in a, a situation where like they, they are now down 1-0 and you know, you really, really always want to, to avoid the, the 2-0. Like, you never want to ha set yourself up where a reverse sweep is your only possibility of victory. And uh, Rialto is a map where the double main tank can work. I mean, it's a lot of shielding to work through and gives your DPS time to, to put down the necessary damage to help find those opening picks. So I, I can see why they chose this map. Could be absolutely viable. We see a little bit of a Widowmaker um, might, might come out from Olive Oil as well. Mm -hmm. Great map for it. Uh, on the other side, I mean, Blue Dog, it's a good chance to pull out that Faro once again. Certainly, and, and had you know a, a fair amount of success with it there on Lijon Tower was able to to help you know PE step up, come away with the the victory on that one. Had 
you know, some nice uh, placement on the, the barrages as well. And, uh, you know, a lot of support coming in, you know, from the, the Mercy uh, on that, that map. A lot of clutch reses were, were able to come through uh, onto the, the Farah in particular. So if, right. if that's a, a combo that P Step Up are, are really like, comfortable with, then I, I definitely wouldn't mind seeing more of that out of uh, Blue Dog and Faraday once again. It's actually Step Up coming out with the double main tank. Blue Dog going on to the Echo to help control the skies. And with that, of course, Faraday, she's going to move on over to that Mercy and keep keep Blue Dog alive. They're going to opt for that kind of pocket for the Echo with Renegade keeping the front lines alive. We'll have that Ant Matrix. We'll have that all-important immortality field. And certainly, this is fascinating to, to see both these teams kind of lean into that that double main tank comp it's not something we've seen a tremendous amount of in uh, recent history especially this uh, you know the Rhino Rissa combo is not exactly the the most synergistic for for the most part but if they're both strong at the the moment they they fit the the style you want to play then it can definitely work but all of on the other side they're going to change things up here going over to shadowed on the the wrecking ball going for this harassed comp with the, the Echo and the very mobile X. Looking to burn down Blue Cow right out of the gate. Or the early immortality build from Renegade. Which, of course, it's first fight. You, you do have a little bit more freedom with that 25 second cooldown first fight. You don't have the ults to worry about. And that boy needs to worry about that McCree. Hater. Picking them out of the sky immediately. But Rez does come through. I still just a split second too soon. Blue Dog denies it at the last possible second. The DPS a step up, move in and clean house. Yeah, very well played to to punish the attempt at the, the Rez there coming in from Fume. So um, the DPS on the, the side of step up already doing quite a bit of work here, teaming up to find those opening picks and punish some of the, the positioning that we've seen out from all of oil so far, who now they're, they're done with the wrecking ball, at least shadowed going to, to go over to the Rhine, but really going to be a little bit lacking in frontline damage potentially. They've got to get through both of these shields if they want to get any work done. Blue Dog up on top. He's going to get in hand. Does have a juicy target in that Rhino heart now. And in fact, he's going to choose the Diva. Uh, move in. A little extra defense matrix. Three tanks from the defense pushing forward. But deep, deep step up, lose a deep plasma on the approach. The duplicate self destruct finds one, despite the immortality field being on the battlefield. And the res comes through deep in enemy territory. Deep plasma just gets anti bionated and feeds the ult charge of olive oil, who respond with an ant matrix and are continuing this fight, or at least going to soft reset a bit. They're not backing off entirely, Shy Guy. Yeah, I do actually love what Step Up was able to do there. They used the duplicated Diva Bomb and the Ant Matrix to zone Olive Oil away to try and get the res. It does get punished, which is nice uh, from Olive Oil, but it buys a lot of time there. And now we're, we're back to where we started, and that's not a great sign for Olive Oil. No, I think Shadow went to Fire Strike and just ate a uh, flashbang right to the dome. And uh, speaking of, Hater's going to turn around and take Thought Boy out of the sky once again. Hater has had Thought Boy's number this map. Yeah, indeed. And already Thought Boy just having to get off the Echo without the, the Mercy Pocket. Once, uh, you know, Fibo and Fum are on the on a Baptiste, it's it's a little bit harder to, to be able to win out and say sustain up in the sky. I mean, the Bat can do virtually nothing for you. The Ana has to, to be able to connect on those shots if they want to provide healing, but it's it's really hard with the first damage coming in from a, a good hit scan like Kader. Now goes down on the shadow, trying to push forward, and in the back line, the Deadeye comes through, finding a pair and cracking wide the egg that is the courtyard. It's P set up with egg all over their face with olive oil. 30 seconds on the clock. Might be time for a recontest here, though. Yeah, I think they'll they'll definitely be trying to make this one happen. They are going to be you know waiting on deep plasma to get back in here, but they commit that ant matrix really early, trying to get some zoning pressure. And it was a little far forward, but the fire strike still makes it through and is going to find both supports. And Shadow's <laughs> going to go down as well. It's a three v two on the objective. Thought boy trying to be the hero and pushes it in. 
Yeah, I mean, they, they, they had gotten that, very, they had actually gotten the cap very early on in that fight, you know, as the, the fire strike came down on the opposite side, PS setup wasn't quite able to get everybody okay. back into to position to really get a full recontest there, like they, they would have hoped, despite getting some kills, they, they can't make it happen, and um, Thoughtboy does wind up coming out ahead on the height, now gets a nice angle for that dynamite. He does, it eats a big fire strike. He does have a bob at the ready, but I, I like this positioning from Thought Boy, trying to not allow Step Up to just easily move up and hold this big corner. In fact, Founder's gonna put a nice boop in and uh, knock Renegade down off that top for a bit. So the battle's gonna take place on the low ground on the corner. Pin comes through. Nanobos used to keep Shadow alive at just the last possible second. Now running into an Ant Matrix has to be very careful. Rhino just step on the other side of it. It looked like they were thinking about shattering, but got punished. Fortunately for Shadow, before they were able to press Q, Blue Dog picking up a pair to help push Olive Oil back. Yeah, that's that's a great use of the, the Ant Matrix. It's such a powerful kind of zoning tool, uh, disengage option there uh, for Olive Oil, and they're even able, or uh, for Step Up, and they're even able to, to burn down the Brian Hart towards the end. He had committed a little bit too deep to, to be able to, to do anything further in that fight. And already, this is uh, looking like a pretty good defensive setup for PE. Step Up, a minute remaining on the, the clock as they, they look to close this one out. Do it, do it, Blue Dog. Oh, I was thinking about going in and dropping in from behind the devil of olive oil right now. Shatter coming out from Plasma is blocked in the dead eye from the archway. Blue Dog does still have, oh, <laughs> a little drop down. He's not able to fight anything with the dead eye, but uh, Blue Dog does have this dupe ready to go. Gotta make sure and stay alive. As Newt Newt isn't quite able to land the shots, turns around and decides to try to protect the front line, but Deep Plasma is too fast and blades by that supercharger. They're able to move forward and take down the front line and the defense of PE setup. Hang on. I'm curious, what is PE setup going to do here? They're going for this forward hold, and I think that's what they should do. They, they should be trying to focus on you know, stopping the, the attackers from making it in freely, but the swap from Pounder over the Wrecking Ball means that it's not really going to be possible to, to keep the contest from coming through. It'll just come down to this final fight. People get used here from Blue Dog as the Nana Boost goes down onto Pounder. They're going to go into the back, drop the pile drive, and try to take down, and do indeed take down Hater. On the back to the front on the cart, it's two Reinhardts trying to beat Shadow Dow, but somehow weathering the storm. No, but not for long. Hater gets back into the mix and is gonna find the kill on the Shadow, and it's just gonna fall apart from there for Olive Oil. They make it through to the corner of death, but can't quite make it around it. Certainly, and they are are now in a pretty dire situation here. If they want to be able to take Rialto more than likely it's going to require a full hold on point a given how far forward uh, that, that cart was actually stopped how far away from the, the second checkpoint you know you, you can never say die in a game like overwatch things can turn in an instant but they will need uh, a heck of a performance here if they want to, to be able to avoid falling down o2 to step up step up just needed to make it around that to the second corner, around the first corner, as I was initially going to say, but to the second corner of point B. Definitely doable. Uh, I mean, but we saw, you know, some big full holds coming through on this map earlier. Olive oil, you know, aren't quite in the frying pan just yet. They're coming out with this double shield composition. See if they can put up a big hold to tie up this series. You know, I, I think the, the comp of olive oil here is going to be working much better in a, a defensive position than it was necessarily on the the attack here you're able to to give thought boy all of the the sight lines that they really want to to work with have the the damage boost coming in from fumes so they they really have uh, a lot of great tools here to, to be able to keep uh p step up at bay but that's easier said than done given the way this team is performing so far it's gonna be the high ground hold as they just try and poke out burst these shields down as quickly as possible, but that is uh, not going to last for long as they, they do drop back to that traditional uh, corner defense. 
The boy on the Ash with Blue Dog on the Echo. The only difference between these two compositions is Blue Dog can find those off angles and, and really get the rhythm of the Echo down. It could be devastating. It's going to be up to the Thought Boy and Newt Newt. And Newt Newt is going to find a kill before sacrificing themselves to the cause. Uh, Rez available. Newt Newt obviously too far in enemy territory to get Rez themselves. Uh, very much out of position. That's going to make Blue Dog's life that much easier. The Matrix comes out, and there it is. Blue Dog burns down Pounder, and now Shadow caught in a corner. Deep Plasma does fall, but that's one thing about double main tank. You still got Blue Cow on the point, escorting Step Up into the first archway. Yeah, that was a, a serious blunder there from Newt Newt, and now falling late into this fight means that there's no opportunity for a recontest whatsoever here for Olive Boyle, and what was already looking like a, a difficult task here on the, the defensive side of things just became nearly impossible. They're going to have to hold here for five plus minutes on Rialto if they want to, to be able to bring this one back. That is going to require some serious work on the side of Olive Oil, but they do have some ults to try and at least regain some control of this card. There we go, there we go. Uh, and my, my feed finally caught back up and it's right in the middle of action and it's kill feed lighting up all blue. It's Hater dropping a dead eye. It's Hater following that up with a kill and PE step up. But there's just no stopping them right now. They're just gonna round this corner. Blue Dog has duplicated a Mercy. Going Battle Mercy on him. Uh, really just try to play the ego move uh, and play the Alpha Mercy. And it's going to follow it up with the burn down, focusing beam onto Shadowed. And with four minutes on the clock, PE step up are absolutely dominating right now. You see two more kills, lighting them the feed. It's their cart. This is their round to lose. It's going to take a Herculean play, a hero effort from Olive Oil. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to find that just yet. Step up will take Rialto and move up to match point as we head into halftime. Yeah, and they've been in pretty firm control of this series from start to, to finish. That one was theirs from from the word go here on Rialto. They really looked like they, they have a, a great grasp of how to, to play around this double shield comp. I mean, it, it, it's become a, a bit more of a, a thing in this series in particular, as both these teams kind of seem to, to go in this direction, but all of them getting outmatched on their their own kind of comfort picks is not a, a good feeling at all. Now they're they're down 2-0, and they're they're gonna have to find uh, dig deep, find a way to to turn this one around. But it will definitely be difficult for sure. Yeah, they're gonna have to win three in a row if they want to move on to the grand finals. I'm gonna go find myself. And uh, <laughs> we'll take a short break. But y'all don't go anywhere. We're going to return with our hybrid map and more Get Good Limited. We'll see y'all in just a minute. PE step up, winning our first two maps of our Get Good EU Limited. Winner's bracket semifinal match here in the advanced division. Bulls going good shy guy back here. Brady, the second half of our match. We're going to find out if Olive Oil can start the reverse sweep heading into map number three. Yeah, I, I gotta be honest, uh, Bull Skunk. This is not looking great for, for Olive Oil at this point. They have been outmatched when they are playing different comps than their, their opponents. They have been outmatched when they are going head to head. Uh, it, it really has just been a, a dominant performance from Step Up in pretty much all facets of the, the game here. We'll see if they can turn things around on Hollywood. It's a, another opportunity for them to, to pick their, their maps. Um, but just given what we have seen over the course of the series, it, it does seem like there is you know somewhat of just a, a raw difference between these two teams. Absolutely. And I think a, a lot of it is just basic positioning, I think has been one of right. the big differences. Step up. Uh, seem to be a lot more disciplined in their positioning. They're they're not making as many mistakes. Uh, Olive Oil just making some unforced errors and step up are right there to capitalize on it. Uh, the most egregious uh, you know, being the, the McCree out of position. 
uh, with a thought boy, you know, just ended up way out of position, uh, which means there was, you know, way less pressure on blue dog in the sky. Uh, they were able to try and burn down the Reinhardt and it just snowballed into a point, a pickup and olive oil was never able to, to stop the progress after that. Right, yeah, it, it was it was just P set up, just kind of uh, running with the the momentum from from that point uh, forward as uh, we head over to Hollywood for all of Wells' last stand. This is their opportunity to try and save uh, their their hopes here in the upper bracket. Of course, they you know even if they they do lose this, even if they get swept and, and get dominated here, they are not out. This is the upper bracket. They have earned uh, you know a, a right to continue on in this tournament by virtue of their performance up to this point. And they'll, they'll have a, a potential opportunity to, to regroup and fight their way through the lower bracket should it come to that. But of course, they, they don't want to go home just, or uh, you know, go down there just yet. They want to at least try to make this close, as they have in all of their other series so far. It's been five map affairs for Olive Oil. P Step Up has swept their way through uh, the the entire bracket to this point, and they're looking to continue that dominance here. One more map will be all it takes to to go on that undefeated run into the the grand finals, which uh, of course would make them a, a strong favorite. Olive oil coming out with Newt Newt on the junk rat this time. Other than that, no real changes. Uh, some changes in the support lineup, I suppose. We got Feeble and the Zenyatta, uh, which uh, put that Discord or down. Maybe he'll able to help burn down these tanks or these supports a little bit quicker. But you gotta get in there with your junk rat. Newt Newt's gonna fall early on the rotation as Olive oil are looking to go to the high ground. Uh, Blue Dog tries to go meet them and is just greeted by five members of Olive Oil, immediately deleted. And now it's kind of a standoff at Stairwell. Certainly, I mean, I think Step and Window potentially try to get in there to get the res off, but it's not going to be able to happen. So control the high ground over towards Olive Oil for the time being. But now we, we've got, you know, an attempt from Step Up to push through there, but it's not going to work out. They, they just get taken out. Their back line falls up immediately. Uh, the, the nano boost, a very early nano boost, went on to Pounder, who just went through the stairwell swinging for the heavens, and now has an earth shatter to walk into the streets phase with. That's exactly what we were looking for here from Olive Oil. Like this is signs of life uh, from this team, as uh, we we do have, you know, uh, Olive Oil finally getting a, an opportunity here and now thoughtfully going over to the Widowmaker. So powerful on this section of Hollywood in particular. Find an OB pick, but unfortunately rezzed right back up. So we are even strengthened. The elevator play. And the shatter down, but Immortality Field there. Renegade is able to read it, avoid it, and keep the team alive. Now Step Up looking to counter punch back, dropping down, pushing forward, but running into a trap. Plasma ends up in a lot of trouble. Nice sleep onto Hater, who's also going to get taken down early. Blue Dog decides to go ahead and invest the duplicate, but is not going to find a whole lot of value out of it. We'll get one before taken out of the doppelganger form. Uh, and uh, we didn't really get a chance to touch on this. Blue Cloud swapped over to the Diva, and I like this swap. We're going to be able to eat up some Junkrat damage, eat up some of those Ananades, and move up to that high ground life we're seeing now. Been able to hold down the fort and give time for the rest of the team to show back up as Hater is going to throw the Deadeye out from afar, and is just going to keep all of Orland Bay, who have chosen to invest a late Transcendence and a Tire. The Tire will find one. I think it's going to force Step Up to rotate backwards a little bit, though Blue Cow finds themselves way deep behind enemy lines. Certainly, but yeah, and is going to get the punish there as Step Up trying desperately to, to hang on. They've been on the, the back foot for most of Hollywood so far, and I sleep there onto Hater, who was you know, basically just trying to empt into the back line, pay, potentially find one trade kill, but not going to happen as now the, the momentum continues for all of them. They're going to have this supercharger to play around for this final fight. Self-destruct open the top, over the top, opens it up, but second point comes through nevertheless. Nobody is there to touch cart uh, as the sound barrier or supercharger is used to just to help clean up the fight here, clear the way as Olive Oil enters the movie studio. Certainly, now Step Up is going to be going back over to Blue Cow on the, the Orissa for this final 
you know, point of Hollywood want the, the additional shielding, want to, to be able to kind of draw a line in the sand with those double shields. They're even essentially just going to kind of mirror, save for the support lines, they, they are going to kind of match what olive oil are throwing at them. Moving up to the high ground, step up or... Okay, they're just gonna drop down from above. They they see Powder there by themselves. They're gonna run forward with it. Kind of a haphazard shatter thrown in. Trying trying to catch uh, uh, during the trying to catch them while they're flashing their shield, but no, nope, it gets blocked. Transcendence used to help Olive Oil try to push up, but there's not a whole lot of reinforcements there. Nevertheless, Deep Plasma does fall, but in fact, both Reinhardts go down, and the defense is gonna hang on as Hater gets that kill on the five up. Yeah, a bit of an ill-advised transcendence. They had already lost too many members to, to be able to really take advantage of it. They weren't in position to, to move aggressively off the back. But still, Olive Oil going to have a bit of a, an ult advantage coming into this fight if Pounder can find an opportunity to, to lay down that Shatter once again. All kinds of damage just being reined in from the, the high ground, the Junkrat spam from both sides. Incredibly deadly. Dead eyes to start off the fight. There's a blue dog falling, it falls early in the junk rat duel. An oddly placed amplification matrix. It's at the, the perpendicular angle out in the back, but uh, D Plasma would talk about out of position. D Plasma, what were you doing over there? That could be disastrous. Oh no, oh well, I mean, Blue Dog's able to bring it back, finds two kills and devalues the tire. Might have just saved this hole for step up. Now I'm gonna throw out the tire of their own and pick up a pair. Blue Dog indeed saves this defense. Absolutely necessary there for step up. They, they really cannot afford to, to let such a giant time bank go over to, to olive oil here. They don't wanna give their opponents any kind of a foothold to get back into this series. So. Uh, Blue Dog has been putting in work as soon as he swapped over to the Junkrat to mash Newt Newt. Now we're going to pounder onto the uh, Roadhog here. This is an interesting. Looking to, to find an opportunity to, to get some picks early on in these fights, but they are going to have a, a little bit less in the, the way of kind of shielding and protection from the spam coming through. I think that's a, a direct response to Plasma swapping over to the Wrecking Ball. Because mm -hmm. Ball's got to be a lot more careful about just diving on your back line when there's a road hot hook to worry about. As Olive Oil are coming up on both support ults to help push in. But the other side of this is now where does this nano boost go? Are you going to nano the hog as they push forward? And it's going to be an early transcendence coming out with Supercharger and Deadeye from the defense. Then the Deadeye is going to pick up one. And Olive Oil look to just reset on the back of that. Well, it looks like some of them reset. Some of them stuck around in the fight. Blue Dog is going to push in and kill them all any way you slice it. Certainly. And that was that fight was on such a nice edge. There were so many members of Step Up falling very, very low. I mean, uh, we, we saw Blue Cow barely get out on the Arisa now actually swapping over Diva Hater went down very, very low, and the back line was kind of trapped before eventually getting the, the dead eye off. But uh, things just barely slipping away for Olive Oil here after such a great start to their attack round on a Hollywood. They're going to have one last good opportunity to, to make some kind of push happen here and making compositional swaps. Pounder back to the Rhine. They're, they're on the, the Lucio and the Bab, but neither of, none of those three ultimates are going to come in anytime soon. 30 seconds on the clock. They're looking to win the mid fight. I mean, I, I, I like the rock, paper, scissors going against the dive that, well, at least the dive tanks that they're facing now. Looking to just stay in one little death ball, push out through the high ground, open up with the tire. Oh no! But it's Blue Dog's tire is the one finding value. Clumped up in a little bunch. Blue Dog just says, thank you very much for the gifted 4K. And that is just, that's just Blue Dog putting the entire team right on his back. I mean, he did it from start to finish there on the, that final checkpoint, just completely stymieing anything that Olive Oil was looking to do. And it was so promising at first. They had so much time left in the bank, but the Junkrat was too much to deal with 
from step up is the the right swaps finally come in like they they were kind of scrambling over the course of the that defense to find the the answer and it, it came in the form of blue dogs junk rat oh jay cheesy with the easy picks uh with that tire uh, I, mean, I i gotta admit olive oil just kind of set themselves up for that one they, they put themselves on the chopping block all blue dog had to do was pull the cord and release the guillotine certainly it was uh, exact i mean that is the the ideal situation to be able to, to get big value out of the junk rat tire i mean and the saddest thing is that although you, you had the baptiste in the lineup and like yeah that's the the one thing that can just say nope nope we we do not die to to this ultimate and it's it's just not there in time to save the day and keep them alive on that push and now it's gonna have to be the defensive effort to, to keep olive oil in this series if they want to, to win this map they still have a great chance of doing it they push that payload you know very nearly to the end of the third checkpoint but it, it's going to, to require a good effort here on their side as you know they they go back to the try to true new, new on this jump route once again Step up coming in with a high damage composition, particularly in the support line. We're gonna Discord Orb plus the damage boost from the Mercy. Uh, we try to burn down targets really quickly with Newt Newt falling early to that Zenyatta. Blue Cow gonna go up and challenge the high ground, challenge the top of the patio. But while Powder is on the ground, Powder's Discorded already at half health, now just down to a couple takes, has to back into the cafe. Uh, and is gonna try to come back out, but they just realize, oh my goodness, I'm surrounded, staring at nothing but set up members. And now they're starting to get surrounded. Nunu does return to the fight, he's able to grab one, powder grabs one as well. So the step up and tried to push into cafe, but olive oil had bunkered down in there and they're able to hold on. Yeah, I mean, Step Up's comp works really well when you can kind of approach the fight from multiple angles and, and you know, surround your target like you were, you were talking about there. But as soon as the, the bunker really starts to, to solidify, they have a, a pretty hard time, especially when Newt Newt is in that confined area on the jump rat. It's really difficult to push in there, especially with so many kind of squishy uh, players on their side. They didn't need to push in there, just hang out outside and, and claim the objective. As Little Blue Dog's just gonna fly in a little too deep, right into an Ant Matrix and goes down early in the fight. Nice, halt with a lot of damage out on Deep Plaza and they're forced to get out of there. Transcendent used from a Renegade to try to help hang on and it is gonna net them two kills. Nice Transcendence indeed. The Supercharger now on the field. Setup have not finished off this point just yet. Bob was out as well, but the seventh man now gone. self destruction in the back. Finds two. And that's going to close out this fight. Beautiful worm burner from Blue Cow to help get this car rolling. And certainly it takes them a, a little while to be able to punch on through, but eventually they, they get the fight that they were looking for. I want to point out Blue Cow on the, the Diva there doing a great job protecting uh, Hater on the Tracer after he got caught uh, in the, the junk rat trap coming through in the defense matrix to provide a little bit of peel for the, the DPS there and helps get that fight really kicked off well as they took Newt Newt out very early. Newt Newt does have a tire ready to go. Not a whole lot to defend against it, but set up her should stay separated. They, sh they don't have to fight in a, in a big cluster uh, with this highly mobile composition. And I think this point will favor that high mobility. We see Hater just kind of dipping and diving, but runs into a trap yet again. The mine falls on their head and Hater is blown up. Blue Dog does respond and take the Elisa out of the fight, follows it up with not one, but two kills onto both DPS. But Pounder is able to get one as well as a 3v3 left on the point. Blue Dog's gonna duplicate the junk right. Pick the Mercy out of the sky. Throw the Mai down onto the Baptiste. Baptiste running for their life, but they cannot find safety. The duplicated trap even picks up Pounder. Oh. That's the most high value junk rat duplicate I have ever seen. And they didn't even use a tire. Like it was all just like connecting the mines using the, the abilities of the junk rat. That was absolutely a show right there coming through from Blue Dog doing it on both sides of this map so far, but there's still plenty of time here for Olive Oil to get back in. Some point on the, the Widowmaker is an interesting spot. 
swap here. They'll be under a lot of pressure, but they do find some potential opening here with that tire. Yeah, the tire uh, kind of responds back, but the res comes through. A blue dog falls. So still an advantage to the defense as Newt, Newt returns to the fight and just raining spam damage from this far left side while the front line of Peace Up tries to push through. They're going to go ahead and drop the Transcendence to try to close this thing out. Two minutes on the clock and they are finding the kills. In the thick of things, the Shadow trying to hold on for dear life, but is just facing fire from all angles and cannot survive. No chance for a res on that one. Now it's Reinhardt's turn just to try to buy as much time as they can. All right, so the work has been done here by Step Up, but the the good news for all of us is I think this is the, the portion of the map where your comp is really going to start to potentially kind of come into its own with this much more uh, defensive setup with the, uh, the Arisa now Pounder on Sigma. I like that, that decision. The Rhine didn't feel like it was getting a tremendous amount of value. Hard to lock down any of these targets and really get opportunities to kind of swing through multiple players. Now you've got a little more utility, a, a, a more easy to execute ult, some stun availability and more survivability uh, from that second tank player. Self-destruct in from the offensive start. Blocked by the immortality field. Power from the other direction. Blocked by the adaptive shielding. Yeah, Tools down. No kills just yet. Blue Dog is going to end up burning down Newt Newt on the back end, but the res is available. Pulse Bomb doesn't quite find the mark. Blue Dog has this duplicate ready to go. I imagine the Sigma is going to be a prime target for this. Right now, Step Up are running into a supercharger. Didn't seem to matter. Faraday finds multiple kills. Nice! The invincibility frames of the duplicate keep Blue Dog alive through that dead eye, and now they've got a bonus supercharger on the field for the attackers but they still lose Renegade nevertheless. Blue Cop tries to flink around, make sure and block off that off angle, run Stop Boy back into the bulk of the fight as the Reds comes through. But Olive Oil doing a good job of keeping this attack in check through an onslaught of ultimates. Shadow whittled down very low, but is able to fall back into the safety of their healing and step up are struggling to find an opening into these final few meters they need to send them on to the grand finals. Yeah, well, the, the, these, this high mobility comp, these flanking members of Step Up, they, they just don't really have the, the angles that they need to be able to get a lot of value. Deep Plasma and Hater struggling a little bit more in this funnel area. Even Blue Dog, you know, having a harder time to, to find the, the opportunities, the space to, to go forward. They, they are going to have a little bit of a flank from Blue Cow to provide a little bit of pressure and turn some eyes away from the, the main choke point. But where are the kills going to be coming from? Well, Deep Plasma goes down. Stick comes through and Thought Boy goes down. But it's the kills onto the attackers that are so much more impactful. Here comes the Gravitic full lock trying to hold down the fort with their Orisa gone. Olive Oil are looking to me in a desperate situation. Transcendence out from the attacking team. They just need 0.43 meters. They just have a Sigma left to take care of. They kill the Sigma. They push the cart home. And he step up remain with a win a completely undefeated on maps here in the double elimination bracket as they move on to the grand finals, taking the series three to oh. And just an all around, you know, A plus performance from Step Up throughout this series. So much versatility in the, the way that they adapted, especially on that final map, throwing uh, some changes at Olive Oil, you know, running so many different comps over the course of this series. I mean, matching the the Arisa Rhine double shield at times, going for those wrecking ball comps that that really seem to give Olive Oil quite a bit of trouble and you know, peace yeah. come away with a, a well earned victory this time around. That yes, indeed, very well earned, uh, very dominant indeed. And uh, I, I think, uh, I mean, if, if I had to pick a player of the match, just by my eye test, I mean, Blue Dog is the first name that comes to mind. Absolutely dominant all day long. A big reason the East Step Up were able to move in. I mean, just look at these, look at these echo stats. I mean, 10K damage done, uh, that Junkrat duplicate. That was awesome. That was just one of the coolest things I've seen all day long, Shy Guy. Yeah, I mean, and these sets don't even include what they were actually able to do on the the proper junk rat on the the defensive Correct. 
side of the map, which is there. Uh, there okay, there we go. Now we get to see it. And yeah, I mean, I mean, it, this was essentially just in that final checkpoint, like uh, the, the numbers that they were able to put up there. I mean, 10 final blows in like less than five minutes of gameplay. Really, really fantastic stuff coming out from from Bully Dog. And of course, that that rip tire that kind of sealed the, the deal for them defensively. Uh, really huge play coming out from from the DPS on the side of step up, but this was this was a team effort through and through. They were uh, no really really well coordinated, and I, I think they are are definitely looking like the the favorite when it comes to those grand finals. Yep, step up have punched their ticket. We will see them there. Olive oil not out of it just yet. Uh, you know this was a winner's bracket, so that they have another shot to fight their way back into it. Uh, yeah, but they're, they're going to have to earn it. And once they get there, whoever makes it to the grand finals are going to have a really tough opponent and step up waiting them standing on top of the mountain, just waiting for somebody to come challenge them. But that is going to do it for our matches today. Two fantastic matches here from a Giga limited EU. We will have some NA matches going on a little bit later on in the day, I believe. Uh, but until then, a big shout out and thank you to ExpressVPN uh, for all they do for sponsoring this tournament. Uh, I want to give a special uh, shout out to Cynthia, giving us the beautiful camera work, Belly and Zathon behind the scenes, providing all these awesome stats, making us look good. Shy Guy, and uh, thank you to you as well uh, for, for casting with me today. Always a pleasure, always a pleasure. And most importantly, thank you all at home for hanging out with us and enjoying this, this fantastic.